welcome back to Beyond the Bookshop. I'm Lizzie. You are tails. And you are still drunk. Terrified. I'm more drunk now. I'm really not terrified okay. anymore. Maybe it's because we're holding hands sitting next to each other. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, That's so mean. Oh, I'll slap it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me hanging, my girl. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, I still yeah, no, I'm really word. not terrified anymore hey that's because we know no one's watching exactly <laughs> we know one person well they're not shout even out. watching they're listening shout out naomi if you're still listening to this point in the series. yeah well yeah she i mean she is harassing me at work that's really cute and keeping me on top of things i really think that's so adorable you should follow her on the tiktok Actually, do follow her on the TikTok. I love her TikToks. I know, <laughs> it's right? like She's legit. Good. I want. I want to go hire her. her. Uh, we, we can't pay her, but yeah, no, she gets no pay. But I'll hire her as a um. Well, they could unpaid intern. Uh, intern. <laughs> um, just an unpaid. That cafe intern. she went to the other day. I don't know. What cafe? Oh, you know. Oh, oh, TikTok. I don't watch TikTok. I I stopped her that one day when we downloaded TikTok for our like thing. <laughs> And, and then, then you I'll deleted do... it straight away. No, it's not uh, on my phone. Oh. I have not used it. Okay, well, that's probably a good thing for you because you'll end Instagram up like your brother reels. and end up on the conspiracy theory train. Um, no, she went to this little place in Guildford and oh, really? it looked really nice. She just sat and read. And I've been thinking maybe I, really I should do that after I... tomorrow. We could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, she's sick. <laughs> No, if we weren't going to Melbourne, I would call them I know. sick. But... Fuck Melbourne. <laughs> Whose idea was that? I sent out a message as a joke. About? Didn't think anybody would take it seriously. About bring me coming. Oh, I knew I was going. Me and Stevie had, like, blood sworn that we were going to go see them regardless of where they were. I mean, if they went to fucking just Bali, to... we would have gone. Yeah. Well, that probably would have been <laughs> true. <laughs> um, I don't have a passport, though. I mean, I do. I've mm, taken my sword in uh-huh. it, though. It's very out, out of date and not up to date. I don't have a passport anymore either because <gasps> mine expired. And then I was like, I'll do it to save like, me money after. once my name, do my name change. But mm. I still haven't actually done any of that. <laughs> yeah. I just I drive past the transport and the line is money. out of the line. I mean, for my driver's license, it's only. Oh, your driver's license. Different. Yeah, driver's license is thirty dollars. No passports really it's expensive. Like Two hundred and something, right? Yeah, well, I think I don't mm-hmm. know. I think it might be longer, like more, like three hundred and seventy-five mm-hmm. or something. But yeah. yeah, I haven't done it on Centrelink or changed my license. Um, I have done it through uh, mm. my gov though, did which you, you know it would be so much easier if my gov just did it all because rather than having to go to Centrelink. <laughs> If you get married, get you should be able to apply for a name change and someone just does it all for you. I mean, they do like it on a certificate, so why can't they just... Yeah, like, why do you have to go around to, like, everyone and their mum to tell then... them about your name change? I think it's really mean. It's Yeah. And because you have to go in person. Mm. And, like, both the driving, driving place and Centrelink are scary places to go to. Definitely around this area too. Actually, any area, like let's be real. Yeah. You will get punched. You fuck get stabbed, man. Mm. Maybe not at the driving Actually, and licensing centre, but definitely at When I was in Darwin, the security guards, there's like two every line and they're wearing um, stab vests. Mm. It's yeah. pretty scary. That's fun. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. We're reading the same stuff because it's yeah, the same, same episode night. and we the same night. Might even go third episode. I think that would be really fun. Actually, I can tell you what I want to read in April. Like mm-hmm. we might be posting this at the end of April, so maybe we can check in and see if I actually read it. Mm, let's That'd see be how fun. psycho we are. I mean psychic. <laughs> um. <laughs> I am so excited for Wild Love by Elsie Silver because I read her four, four mm, books I know you last about year. It at war. Four or five? Fuck. I don't know. Five. No, it's five. Five. Mm. And I love them. And this is like a spin off about one of the girls' brother. And it's a billionaire romance, which I don't really like, but they're going to the cow country. So <laughs> it should be good. It's country. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a cowboy. And then mm-hmm. and then another one is, um, oh my God, what's her name? Oh my God, Abby Jimenez. Mm-hmm. That one mm-hmm. summer. I love Abby Jimenez. Every book makes me cry. And it's always some type of extra heart feelness. Heartfeltness mm-hmm. 
but it's always really sweet ending and like sweet mm-hmm. yeah, it's very sweet this i feel like there's a third one that i'm like super excited for this month is it coming out yeah it's coming like out in april fresh. is it part of a series no is it standalone is it um, authors that you love that it's got- definitely an author that i love because i feel like i've only added people i've read from before this year on my goodreads where i don't know unless it's- Mm. previous years i've added like people i've liked mm. but while i'm thinking of that one is there anything coming out this month that you're excited for i was excited to read the rebels book but that's not coming out anymore wait what rebels book? rebel has a um what's Re- what rebel wilson yeah but oh, like, thing yeah legit. but there's controversy wait, so really i saw she was like promoting it the other day mm. what yeah. happened um well she talks about some not nice things, mm-hmm. but she's named who it was. Oh, um, and then they're well, I mean, of... she is like she's got a law degree, so mm. she knows what she can and can't say, you know. So, True. Um, but old mate obviously doesn't like what she's saying. So, so that was our um, Mother's Day book of them nonfiction, oh, and we can't. It? We've got twenty coming. How did we I can't even not open know it about this? I don't know. It's on our magazines, so we just and have to let people know that, you know, we can't. Sweet. We so don't have a nonfiction book of the month. We do. It's an old cookbook. Not old, but, like, it's been It's found published a little while ago. Yeah. But we're only getting 12 copies of it. Oh, of course. I'll get you more of the time. No, you won't. I found another book. Mm-hmm. The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. It's oh, like yeah. a dark academia vampire. Mm-hmm. Mm, and... As we know, I'm now interested in Dark Death of Namia mm-hmm. because of if we were villains, which is mm-hmm. all good. And vampires seem to be popping up everywhere. They are. I was hoping for more dragons, but there's more vampires. I feel I like feel. dragons were like last year, the year before, mm. like fourth wing. Mm. Before that, there was dragons. But I think vampires have been having a renaissance. Yeah. I want the werewolves back. I've always been a werewolf girly. Um, me and vampires. I was an Edward girly, but mm. I prefer the werewolves for some reason. I think it's like the one true love mate instinct well, thing. Well, I feel like vampires are always weedy little. Like crackheads? Mm. Yeah. Whereas the vampires are <clears throat> swole. The vampires are swole. No, other way around. Like, come on. You know what I mean. Timothy Chalamet versus like um, yeah. Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So vampire. Um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol is getting to me mm-hmm, this time around. Mm-hmm. And only if I'm ever. Forever by Chloe Lise is coming out like in a couple of days, and that's the seventh and final book of her Bergman Brothers series. And it's about the brother who is a romance reader, and now it's his romance story. Aww. And I think it's gonna be really sweet, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so you need yeah. to send me the vampire one because it oh, sounds yeah. like something okay. I can read. I haven't read any of her stuff about though. Lee Buddy who is a familiar. Um, mm-hmm. our competitor has a really pretty version of it, and I'm not buying it from us. It's a hardback with I uh, look, actually, I will find it for you. Weren't you supposed to give me a signed copy of Oh, it's come, it's in it's at the store, but some dickhead didn't remind me that it was at the store. No one's telling me I order books, and mm. no one's telling me I got books behind the you counter. You may need to check your mobile number. No, but I've been ordering too many books so they don't get like zapped to me. Yeah, anyway. Um, let me show you Lee Bardugo. Your problem. Um, but they should be wanting money off me. That's idiots. true. Like, oh, let's be real. I'll I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> Please hey, don't. Come and get your book. I'll um, drop you off and then I'll. Well, we've already discussed this. You can't drop me off because then how do I get I home? I will follow you like a stalker. <laughs> you said you weren't willing to commit to four hours at the shopping center. Oh no, I'm not staying. Exactly. There. Anyway, um. Mm-hmm. The books for yeah what do you i don't really know of any books coming out well now you are down for the familiar well yeah but that's never going to be read until god knows when i've seen that cover you don't like i it? don't like that cover that's the cover though i don't like it and if you get pre-order it you get a oh for fuck's sake oh yes you know you need to order from our competitor because otherwise you don't get things i like that why can't the cover look like that I know, but... Why? What does America's cover look like? I think the same. Ugh, gross. The Familia. Um, yeah, no, I really don't know 
of any books coming out that I'm... Oh, we've got it on sale. Oh, oh, that's because we've got the 20% off online. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't even um, get me started on that. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to uh, probably finish Words of Radiance. Um, mm. And definitely I've finished... No, the first Akatar and Fourth Wing. Um, really? You're going to finish Fourth Wing in April? Yeah. If I can, mm. that would be ideal. And then I've just got, because I'll live react. Mm. I think that's going to be content. hilarious. Um, and yeah, Tal's live you. reacting to A Quid of Thorns of Roses, by the way. So as she figures things out. <laughs> I will. Rec- oh, yeah. Good job. That's um, all right. I will, yeah, try mm. to do it. So that way I've got a record of it for book club. So you're just going to show them your TikToks mm. every time they ask you a question. These so what did you think feelings. about the spring court? And you're like, well, actually. This is my thoughts and feelings. There's your TikTok. Um, I, yeah, no, I won't really do I that. Would I will do the you to do that. Really? Okay. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> We've got Melbourne. So. Yeah, true. Which she can buy me some more of this. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I'll, those two mm. I definitely need to try and yeah. get done. I'm loving the Stormlight. So yeah. if I can keep going on, powering through that. These four releases in April, they're like four of my top romance authors. Mm. Well, actually three of them are the four. Three out of the four of my top romance authors that auto buy usually give a four or five hour star. Mm. So I feel like April might be a good reading month. Mm. Finally, after the trash. Mm-hmm. Once I've had, we'll hope so. I Fingers hope so. Crossed. Fingers um, crossed. Fingers crossed. But no, that kind of brings me to my first question: mm-hmm. Is with this uh, book club, has it made your reading any different, or I, is it like the same? It's pretty much the same. It's just now I n- know for a fact that I'm mm-hmm. reading a particular book. Like, you know, I've got a. St- stack of books that mm. my tbr immediate tbr that i haven't even touched this year Top of the TBR. so i know for a fact i've got something definitely going to read um straight away mm-hmm. and oh i guess i gotta think more when i'm reading yeah like what does that make me actually feel mm-hmm. what are my actual thoughts and feelings i guess whereas normally i kind of just read it and have the movie in my head, play mm. out and move on. So you actually have to like kind of make notes, mm. like note things. Yeah. Are you note taking or like tabbing or Absolutely anything? Absolutely not. Tabbing is hell so fun. It doesn't mm. help me reread. Honestly, mm-hmm. I found that my tabs make no fucking sense when <laughs> I go back rude. to them. But at the time, it feels right. Yeah, like it's just so important. Oh my god. No, I don't think I will. I'll try and do the live react thing. Would you call yourself a mood reader or no? Mm. I don't think you no, are. No, I don't think so. I think I just re- read You're, when I can, really. Because you just, like, and then stick to a book once yeah, you're committed to exactly. reading it. exactly. I don't really like the DNFing, although I... It's insane yeah. to me. I, I, um, all I just kind of power through if I don't yeah. really like it. Um, Which, I mean, with that one book, I'm happy I did because I like the ending. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of made me nervous for another YA book I picked up. What's that one? Compass and... Blade, I think it is. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be space. Mm-hmm. It's actually about ships, like actual boat ships and ocean. I don't really like pirate books. So you like I'm trash? Ter- I do, which is, I look, we know that I will hypocrite myself instantly after saying a, a <laughs> absolute statement. No, I mean, well, Tress was great. I don't like ocean it stories. Great. It wasn't really an ocean. There was No. But in saying that, there has been some I like. Mm. Because I mean, there's always... I always contradict myself. Mm. Exceptions to the rules. Yeah. I am definitely a mood reader. A hundred percent, which is why I struggle with book clubs. Mm. I have done like the online ones and usually I stumble if I've either read them before mm. or if I'm actually currently reading them. So one of my favorite booktubers, I watch all her books, mm-hmm. all her videos. I even like subscribe, like you know how you pay. Mm-hmm. I pay extra. But I don't really consume the books she reads. So it's just like I just like her vibe. But yep. recently mm. she has been doing a Smutter Month book. And I've read beforehand every single book just because 
that's ego problem. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. And it's been fun to like go back and listen to the thoughts and stuff. Mm, but she's in Canada, so if it's 4 a.m., then I can join in real time. But it doesn't happen that often. Um, yeah, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> sleep. Oh, sleep. is it that time? That, you need to go to sleep fast. Anyway, um, mm. yeah, no, I'm excited about the book club. Mm. Um, one, because I get to go drink coffee and talk about books. I like that it's coffee and books. Well, not like I mean, it could be tea, but what, it's at a coffee shop. So, Most time it's well, like wine and books. Oh, that would be even better. Mm. I think I would prefer coffee. Me too. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll pref yeah, definitely prefer coffee. Um, but, yeah, no, it's definitely making me think more. I mm. probably will have to actually take notes because, like, with a lot of books, like how you said, how you mm. flew through. Um, Tress? No, mm. The Lost Metal. Yeah. And, like, in a few other ones, like, you kind of forgot mm. what happened because you read it so quickly. Yeah. So. Um, For sure. I feel like I don't really read books that quickly, but mm. sometimes I'm like, what happened in that book? I really liked it, but what happened? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to probably, with book club, take notes. And um, Do you have the questions pre-hand, pre-before? Yeah. Oh, cool. What are the questions? I'm so interested to know because I totally love. See, the thing is also with the Goodreads. Mm. Is that I've got notifications turned on, but I don't get the notifications until I open the app and oh. it goes, Oh, you've got notifications. Then I click on them and then I get the actual notification. Good it's a broken app because I don't put any money into it. Thanks, Amazon. It used to be really good. Um, oh, yeah, I got to read Eve of Man. That is our fifth book. That's August. So, what's book. your third and fourth book? So, second book is Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing. Fourth book is TBA. To be announced. I pick. Oh, and Tress. Oh, mine. Tress. <laughs> I was Tress like, that's thing. mine. Yeah. Um, where is? I think I'd be so nervous to pick a book for everyone to read. Yeah, I was, and then I was like, no brainer, Tress. <laughs> Next one I already got sorted. What's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. I can never remember the name. Heart and Mercy. Oh my God! Yeah, Undertaking Heart and Mercy. That's the one. Which <gasps> coming out so Yeah, soon. no, but that's Jul June or July. I thought it was May. <gasps> Don't do this to me. Has it been pushed back? I thought it was June or July. Oh my God! I'm going on know. Amazon right now. We have three computers. I'm sure, we can find the information. Anyway, the questions. Oh. So these are just general ones. So mm -hmm. we've got something to think about. So what was your favorite? least favorite part of the book mm -hmm. did you race at the end or was it more of a slow burn hmm. which scene stuck with you the most what did you think of the writing so like or is there a standout sentence mm -hmm. um is the book overrated or underrated mm -hmm. and i feel like it's overrated <laughs> it's definitely not underrated like let's be fucking for real yeah how many um, copies she sold it is july fuck okay Sad, sad times. Um, how did it impact you? And do you think you'll remember it? Mm -hmm. Um, and are there any lingering questions from the book that you're still thinking about? I really so, like that. You have to read if we were villains. Those questions. Oh my god. I okay. still think about this, and it's been a fucking month. That book has ruined me. I, it's already <laughs> my favorite book of the year. I don't know how anything can top it. Well, okay. Well, let's have a. <laughs> Put it on the list to buy. No, seriously, it's so good. You can borrow my copy if you want. Mm -mm. Okay. It is beat up, like really beat up. Say, you broke it. Oh. I know you broke it. I, like, was holding it with the thing folded on the plane. Know. It's so good. <laughs> if I see you do that on the plane, I will punch you. I'm probably going to do my Kindle so I can Okay, thank God. More. Unless good I read idea. Secret History by Donald Hart. That is the OG Dark Academia. Yeah, I do have a copy of that. So do I, and I hated it, so I bought a different one. <laughs> because it was, like, teeny tiny writing. Mm. The cover was the white pretty one, but it felt funky in your hand. So I bought the plain black one. I have the plain black one. Yeah. I don't know the white pretty one. It's an exclusive edition. Um, that's why I don't know. Which I bought ages ago. Ages ago. Um, um, yeah. But yeah, see, the only book clubs I've been is, like, online. And mm. it's just... If I like the book, it's never like I force myself to read it because I cannot. Mm. I will just not read anything. Mm. 
What's that? That's broken. Um, um, if we were villains. Yeah, I'll try it later. Fair, fair, fair. Um, yeah. No, I'm excited to know that I have a particular book mm. that I'm going to read a book. And they're not always going to be fantasy. Yeah. So that um, Eve of Man, I think, is a general fiction one. Mm-hmm. Can't get that one at work, so. I feel like I've heard of it. That's and unfortunately, I, always... I feel like I've heard. Mm. But I might be thinking of a different book. A friend likes it, which is why she's put it up for mm. book. Um, it is a trilogy, I think. Oh, no, um, it's got pretty high ratings in the read. But, yeah, I'm going to have to pay more money for that than I want to. First girl born in 50 years. Um, but with our buddy reading, especially last year, mm. um, even though I don't, there's, like, probably only one book we're reading at the exact same time, or maybe, like, a couple times, mm. it did help yep. me read books I wanted to because I didn't mm. want, like, to not, talk about it with you yeah it's like with warbreaker like you're mm. talking about scenes and stuff i'm like i really want to talk about it with you but i haven't yet and it's the same as when we're reading especially the second era miss one mm. i feel like if we weren't body reading that it w- i wouldn't have read it last yeah, year no, i don't think you would have i think you would have experienced miss like your first go at mm. miss born again with the second yeah era because um <clears throat> yeah for sure but then I think sometimes someone else's excitement or mm. commitment even to a book mm. made, like, you made me feel like I could read it. Yeah. And then you'd always be like, it's okay. I'm like, okay. I, don't know. I feel like with Tress, though, I, you have to read it. You, know, you have to read it. And then you read it. Bang. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to finish a book before. And then I was like, looked at Goodreads. Ah, oh, yeah. She finished it. You finished Lost Metal before me. Yes, I did. And I think everything else I might have. I think you beat me for pretty much everything. It's not a race. Although, yeah, like all oh, the first era, like, yeah, I I think I read Final Empire, mm. obviously, and then, and then read- you hopped on. But yeah. then it was like a race. Yeah, like, it was that. Like, we kept taking <laughs> over each other. I was like, hey, you did finish the entire thing, I think, of era mm. one because – I was like, okay, I won't. I could have finished it. Yeah. And I was like, nah, I'll wait and we can read it together. And then I read it. You, you called me or we saw each other at work and you were like, I finished it. And I was, don't You're talk so to me. Mad. I, I thought what, you would have finished it. I was being good. I was being nice, but never yeah, again. Yeah, because we were trying to do like, don't read till chapter. The, yeah. And we were doing that for, I think, the second book. Yeah. We and then it all that. just fell apart because it was like, oh, she won't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You started it. You started No, that. I feel like you started Uh-uh. It. Mm. Uh-uh. I remember mm. going, I'm at chapter 15. Can I go past, please? And you said, yes, because I'm also already reading chapter 16. I'm pretty sure we had this conversation. Nah. I will find it in my <laughs> in our thousands of messages. Yeah, good luck with that. I went finding something the other day. It took a long time. Yeah. So good luck trying to find that. Um, But no, I, yeah. I, I've tried a buddy read before, but it's like, I don't know. It's not usually a book I like, mm. so I'm not interested. Got to be the wrong person. Yeah. We're like. See, I'm not like a Nazi with like, mm. you have to read. Neither. We can, we can go. As long as it's similar at time, mm. then we can chat about it. Yeah. And even with War Break, like you, yeah, like you, I mean, you read it two years ago, yes. but you're like rearing for me to read it so yeah. we can chat about it. Yeah. Because I still can't remember it. And like at the end of the day, if I can't remember something, I go, what? Mm. Oh, that page. Cause, oh, Which is why I'm excited for you to read Throne of Glass. Ooh. Throne of Glass mm. and Akatar because mm. oh, Sarah J. Ellis is one of my favorite authors. Yes. What? No, you never would have guessed. <laughs> um, I don't yeah. think she would be my favorite, favorite, but one of the favorites. Mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. I just want to hear your opinions because I know that it's going to be mostly either not be like, what the... Why, if not negative? <laughs> I don't think I'll have negative. I uh, I will have negative. Um, I'm gonna be hurt if you don't like Air and Fire. I know that already. I'm liking it so far. I, I was, I'm really glad that the accidental listening to slow Sarah J. Mass story was mm-hmm. not the chapter I'm up to in Air and Fire because mm-hmm. they was telling spooky stories, and oh, I think I would not when have it was slept. like windy, mm. a storm, and all around yeah. the fire. Oh, <clears> I would not have slept mm. if that's what I heard. I mean, it starts getting a bit spooky because of those things. Then I will not be reading it at night time. Nah, it's 
Only, dude, I cannot read. I mean, I cannot watch something a little bit scary if it's after 12 p.m. I watched a conspiracy video the other day and it scared the shit out of me. I could not sleep. And it wasn't even scary. Like, it was just because it made me think about Mm. other things. I spiraled. And then I had to read. It doesn't take much. I had to read some other crap to clear my brain. Yeah, well, I had to put a podcast on Mm. to help me get to sleep after accidentally listening to um Akatar yeah for like a minute accidentally on speed one instead of speed two because mm. yeah it's just so slow yeah and then I don't even think the part of the story was spooky it's just like it so just uh, <laughs> was enough to freak me out yeah. like I couldn't mm. Oh, no, it is spooky. There's something invisible running around. Oh, yeah. That scared me. It's all good. There's someone under the bed. No one's under the bed. Mm-mm. It's fine. She'll be right. She's powerful. Rowan is she? powerful. He's okay. my book husband. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> love a man that's abusive at the start. <laughs> Mm. Nah. Anyway. Um, but no, I think that's why you would like uh, read a So mm-hmm. I haven't really explained the magical read them. Yeah, no, you kind of tried to, but book roast. And every spring and autumn, but for us it's autumn and spring because she's in the UK. Yeah, I don't know what the wind. You don't know. I just season? know one's summer and one's cold. We're in autumn at the moment. Um, actually, Feels like summer. in WA we have six seasons. Mm. If you fung- follow the Noongar seasons, it actually looks way oh, more yeah. dense. I should because my son goes to a very open school, mm. so like they do a lot of Noongar stuff, and that's everywhere around the school. You should like look it, it up. It attention. makes more sense mm. when you actually think about it, like, oh no, that's how I feel in this month and this mm. month because it's kind of like a a dry summer part, and then like the fire summer part, which mm. when we were all burning, and then it's like amping up, but then it gets like the wet. Anyway, it explains it. Mm. But so she does it in. Spring is the first one for her, so it's autumn for us. Mm-hmm. And you can make your own character and you're going to go to the magical school, like Hogwarts. Mm. And you are going to classes, but then you have to pick a future career. I picked this year Necromancer. And then that tells you, okay, so to be a necromancer, you have to go to spells and incantation class and illusion class and then the animal studies. And it's like, okay, in spells and incantation, read a red book book okay read a this book okay. and it's pretty broad i was gonna say this sounds very involved no it's really fun it okay. t- boils down to read a book with blank okay and well, it's fun because what you do right most of the time you already have your tbr so you just mm-hmm. shove that into mm. the prompts but then you have kind of like i know it just makes me feel like you're ticking off a box i like that and it's quite fun and it's pretty she does really good design mm. and I, I will send you the link yes please um but readers' plans, I always complain. Mm. Book clubs, no, no, no. Okay, mm. yeah, send me. I'll do that because yeah, you can be like as rigid as possible or as loose. Because who's really gonna tell you? True, that's actually hot pink and not red. True, just make it as close. And mm. she said when she first did, because she has done it now for years. Mm. She did it as Hogwarts and then turned it into her own. Mm-hmm. I think it's Aurelium is her college or whatever. Nice. Um, because her boyfriend, or oh, maybe he's from anyway, her partner yeah. does really awesome artwork, and so it's really sick. And then, what am I saying? I've lost I my train of thought. Awesome um, artwork, awesome artwork, awesome artwork always gets me. Yeah, but it's just like, yeah. Oh, she said you can be as she said. Don't you know? I'm not going to um police you. Yeah. If the book is 360 pages and you need to run for 350, then mm-hmm. who fucking cares? Yeah. And she always says, like, graphic novels, audiobooks, kids' books, any book is a book. Oh, yeah. I started um, Land reading of the Land of Raw. I to saw Hunter. it on your Goodreads. That's because I'm reading. I read a chapter to Hunter. Is it good? Yeah. Because so it's actually quite fun. Buy it because it's pretty. Yeah. No, it is. It's actually quite fun. Um, We've had a few laughs. And- oh, cute. We're what four chapters in? I think we've read it four nights. So, did you buy slash read any of last month's kids' with month? I mean, this month's. No, but I do have the arc. Is it? Good? I said it was good. 
It sounds good. good. She says every book's good. That is true. She says. <laughs> but so do I. No, I don't. I'm definitely a hater. I no, it's a solo book. This is great. I'm gonna read it. Mm. And this like um no, it does sound good. It's something I like Murray to read maybe to under. Because mm. some of the what of M was saying, I feel like Murray could learn mm-hmm. from it. So okay. mm. I know it's two gay dads. I know that and... the kids adopted. No, is it two gay dads? Mm. That's what I heard. And no. that the kids are adopted. And and one one kid magic. is adopted. Oh. The rest of the family. Well, it's all like. Someone pitched it to me wrong. No, I'm sure it's just one kid's adopted. Oh. He doesn't think he will have the magic he because he's not it. actually part of the family. Oh, that's sad. But he gets the magic, I think. I think. I think it's he- all to show you that. Um, you can't get what you wish for. You, you can't choose your family, and blood isn't always thicker than water. Because that yeah. actual saying, the full thing, there's actually more to it, is in the book. What is the full thing? Yep. M did tell me, but. I'll look it up. Blood is thicker. Isn't. Is not. Isn't. Because, yeah, it's like, um, you know, um. You can the blood yeah. of the convent is thicker than the water of the womb. So mm-hmm, you actually, I know church, is better yeah, than where you're born. Mm. The meaning of the saying is actually opposite of the way it's used. Saying the bonds that we've made by choice are more important than the people you're bound to by the water mm. of the womb. That's actually really cool. Mm. There's another one Which about is like is why I think Murray should. Yeah, it's like the um saying of like a uh, jack of all trades is a mm-hmm. master of none. none. But then the full quote of that makes it better too. Mm. And there was another one that I heard recently that I was like, why don't we say the whole thing? <laughs> it makes so much more sense. Oh, it's the customer's always right. Oh, well, yeah, it's a different saying. Mm. So it's a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Mm. See, that's better. Okay, and the customer's always right. Let's look that one up. The customer's always right. It's actually the right or wrong. The customer's always right. No, that doesn't make sense. No, that's not the right. <laughs> that's not the right. One. <laughs> the customer's always right in matters of taste. Mm. So it's like actually no. Mm. In their opinion, they're right. Yeah. In my opinion, you're a fucking dickhead. You According to my computer, computer, you're wrong. Shut up. Oh I'll just print it out back for you. I had someone show me their phone the other day, mm. and they were like. It's this price with the banner saying online, online only. only. Mm. And I'm liking that it's getting bigger and bigger every time I see it. There's a reason for that. It needs to be even bigger. <laughs> and we're back. What were we talking about? I have no idea. We got off track. Um, It's fine. I like tangents. Mm. I've found I am a tangent person. Mm. Ever since being filmed and having to edit mm. these, <laughs> you I, realize just how ADD, how ADD I am, how. Much I look away and get mm. distracted by fucking nothing, by the way. Oh, yeah, you have nothing in your room. Not really. So you just, because, like, at least now I'm getting distracted by the TV. Yeah. But I need, I know I've turned it down, but you probably can hear it. I can hear it. Like I still tad. need background noise. Background noise. Yeah. I'm just bad. Like, I'll have, That's your ADD. I have the TV on in, mm-hmm. in the bedroom when we're recording. I never hear it. Yeah. Ever. Well, I don't have it up. I oh. just have it like on one. And because it's <laughs> like there's a reason sound bars exist is because the new TVs, the speakers are behind. Shit. That's why you need so the yeah. Yeah. Also the TV's quite far away. I watched a whole video about how movies are made for cinema speakers. Mm-hmm. But our TVs mm-hmm. only have like six speakers, but mm-hmm. then they're not even good. So that's why movies you can never fucking hear what they're saying mm. and need subtitles. Because it was like why do I need subtitles with every movie? And it's because of that. They don't mm. like they should do some audio processing from yeah, cinema they, to they should do streaming. something. But I mean my TV, it's old now. Mm. I've had it for years, but um it actually the sound actually comes through the screen. Mm. I still have Wait, the sound bar. The well, not through the screen. I don't know. It's some technology thing, so Obviously, the screen vibrates or something that produces the sound. So That's, it still has speakers in the back. Kind of terrifies me. For but some I, I've always had the um, Sonos. So yeah, and yeah, I've got the surround sound, which freaks you out. 
Oh, every time. It's like a <laughs> random guitar. Every time. It is only just the surround sounds. If there's someone screaming in the background, yeah, yeah. it's right because right next to my head. But, um... but I got traumatized because my brother, when I was like mm, 10 or 9, mm. put I Am Legend on. Oh, that's not mm-hmm. talk about. The round sound. Um... I was meant to be asleep because he was babysitting me. <laughs> And you can hear fucking zombies behind me. See, I've never watched it. And I've thankfully mum and dad must have watched it when we were mm. out. Like I was at a sleepover or something. But they would um, go for a walk around the park down um, where we used to live. And they would walk past these bushes and dad would start going, Di-di-di. I don't know what that means exactly because I've I never watched the movie. I can't remember. But I th- think it might be the alarm that there's a zombie there. Oh. I think. Yeah, because he had it all, like, rigged up. But because they would he'd... walk at quiet late at Ooh. night. Yeah. <laughs> so mum would be, like, shitting <laughs> herself. Yeah. But <gasps> even now, like, you walk past something and you go, did did it, mum's like, oh. See, this is why I don't watch anything whatsoever scary. I'm scared of scary movies. Oh, I can't do scary movies. But I can't even watch scary movie, and that's funny. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, nah. It is actually still scary. scary. But, um, I love the Paranormal Activity mm. franchise. Mm. Yeah, I will no, one day do been. my rant. It's coming. I'm cooking. One day. I'll rewatch them all and I'll cook. That'll I'll just be tell Lizzie's you all about it. solo episode where I'm just sitting here listening. <laughs> Go on. Mm-hmm. I'm a good, I like to say I'm a good vent. You can talk at me. I can't give you any advice back or anything, Sound but board. you just, yeah. But mm. I like because you can vent your shit. Yeah. Rather than a soundboard. Like you're just venting. So yeah. That's why I said, yeah, it's I don't know. Safe it space. makes sense in my head. It makes makes sense to me because I think I tell you stuff all the time mm. where I usually don't talk to people. I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, are you okay? Here's a gift and Here's it makes me want to cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm nearly about in tears anytime, so it's fine. But I won't cry in front of you. If I do, then you've really you know got me. Really <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah, that's like um, my aunt the other day. She was here in tears, never seen that woman cry. Really? So It was bad. It was um, bad time. But you know it's real bad when she's upset. Mm-hmm. But yeah. anyway. Anyway. Do you ever oh. read horror book? Mm-mm. No, you said that already. Yeah, no, you can't read. No, I can't, can't do read anything. Scary, scary. Okay, what look. about a thriller? Is that scary? No. Yes, it mystery? is. Mystery? You know my one of my favorite authors. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You can't read. His I books. get like. It's hilarious that he's your favorite. Five favorite chapters authors. into his. Well, I mean, thrillers. I can't read them. Yeah, I try to, and then I'm like, nope, 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 nope. And drama key flew through that. I loved it. It wasn't scary. Mm-hmm. I really want to read Boone Shepherd. I now have all of those. Boone Sh- so that's his first novel. Oh, okay. Um, and I also have. Sorry, we're keeping you up. That's all right. Um, <laughs> I just like you on randomly. And I have his young adult one as well. I haven't actually read it. It's because I've listened to his stories, like ones that yep. he's not published or anything. Like he's got. Um, he did a play called Heroes great hmm. um he's like, oh, done a bunch of things through um i don't even know if it's still i think it's called movie maintenance by sans pants radio i've never heard of this some of the movie maintenance that he did on movies hmm. um just great i'm like that's why i love him so yeah. much because i know what he can do and how like good of a storyteller he is even though i can't actually read his book, his book, all well, these scary books. You made me feel like Carl Perry. I also haven't read that. I just like, you know, like his Instagram. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I quite like enjoy his Instagram. Again, I used to follow Pierce book. Brown's Instagram. Mm, I'm going to have to start doing that because Red Rising. I've got Red Rising that I will uh-huh. read that soon. If you're scared, Red Rising gets not scary, but it's br- fucking brutal okay. in part. Oh, I can do brutal. But, like, I don't know I if it's do... scary things. I can't do monsters. No, nah, there's no scary. monsters. Although I don't think I um, – I can't – I couldn't watch Mad Max because of the masks and stuff. Oh. Mum can't watch because hey, she's so old that she snuck out mm-hmm. and watched it through someone's dressing gown. 
when she was like baby oh and the sound of the motorbikes terrified her that to this day she's if a motorbike goes past she's she, scared. she gets scared and that's why and the same with tra- trauma is very don't mm. do it mm. <laughs> yeah but yeah that's insane mm. i think mad max is a boring movie i've never can't be bothered and now there's like a Furiosa one. Mm, oh, I yeah. thought that's why it popped into my uh, head because I saw the. Um, I really couldn't be bothered. That I'm ad s- for it at yeah. Dune. So. Oh, you did get to watch Dune. Mm. Oh, I bet you, I, that I was, was the next that. part I was going to say you after the no Dune, no Poon. Um, was that actually when we did go see it? Yeah. There was a broken chair and we decided to sit either side <laughs> of it. So we were in the middle. <laughs> So we had our date night and we didn't even sit next to it, which was good because I, he always steals my popcorn. Oh, Not that you. I ate it all anyway. I got a big one because I know what he's like. And but then we had a chair in between us, so we couldn't get it anyway. <laughs> That's so um, amazing. Yeah. Correct. I've heard, like, people don't even realise it's a two-and-a-half-hour movie. Look, I knew it was going to be a long movie. Mm. I did feel at one point that, oh, yeah, it's going to end any minute now. And then I'm pretty sure it went for another two hours. All I know about Dune is that it Paul was is Messiah. And that's it. Mm. <laughs> that is all I know about Dune. I do like to watch, um, is it Two to Rumble um, podcast? I don't know. Two guys. Um, one of them absolutely loves Dune, has what like read it a few times, and his co-host, um, has only just recently read it. Mm. I don't know if he watched the movies first and then read it, but old mate who loves Dune, the book, was like, it is good, it's a really good adaptation, but I could put things better together because a lot of the book is like in the head Mm. monologue, Mm. in the head sort of thing. So um, Dune intimidates me. It's one of those books that would intimidate me to read. Yeah, but but then I look at it on audiobook and it's only 20 hours or 20 minutes. Wait, really? Really not that long, so I was like, tomorrow we can do that. Easy. Babe, look at this book that I'm reading. This mm. is 42, 45-hour book, like. Thousand and eight pages. <laughs> listening to it. We can we can do June together. Is the first book these first three movies that are coming out? No, so it's this, the two, mo- two movies that are out is just the first book. Yeah. And the next movie, which is supposed to come out. I'm ninety percent sure it will is Messiah, which is the, the second. second. Which again, two to Rumble dude said he wrote that because people got the wrong message from Dune about Paul or something. Oh, they're like thinking he's a good Messiah, but he's mm. actually an evil Messiah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's Jesus. People took over it for mm. sure. Yeah, they heard the word Messiah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's so. Funny. But no, I did. I liked the first movie, which I saw at home. Mm. And seeing the second one at the movies was pretty, yeah. I was thinking of watching the movie this weekend mm-hmm. and Wobbaka. Mm-hmm. 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 And then also. You should do that. I'm sure it's already on fucking Prime or some shit, the second movie. They really come out. Yeah, like, it's probably no. not on now, but like in two weeks' oh, time, yeah, it's probably be there. there soon. But... It's insane how quick they're on. Like, to, I mean, you still have mm. to pay money, but it's like mm. about the same price as a ticket. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, you can rent them on Prime for like five bucks. Yeah, which for is like what I've fourteen been doing. days or whatever. Yeah, you're only going to watch it once. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was a good movie. I reckon I would watch it a couple of times and probably the pick up more one? stuff. Yeah, um, I have watched the first one a couple of times. I want to read it, but I don't know what cover I want. Yeah, I don't like the one with the worm on the front. Mm. So I was thinking of maybe getting the movie one, but then it's got a now motion the picture fucking sticker. sticker. On it. Fuck off the sticker and I can read it. So then I was thinking maybe I should get the one with the first three books in it. In it. That's what I was thinking too. But I still got the worm. And I hate the worm. Oh, I don't like the worm. It scares you. Not scares me. It just makes me uncomfortable. Why are you scared of everything? I don't know. (laughs) Must have been the demons growing up in your room. Oh, yeah, no, there was. Yeah. There's a photo from... No, I, it was taken at a studio, mm. like back in the day when you went and got photos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Family photos. <clears throat> yes. But there's a flower in the background mm. and there's a scary face in there. And mum had a friend do a reading and whatnot and like, yeah, that person, that thing or whatever is latched onto Taylor. Oh. Um, I know. I'm but, scared. yeah, our first house was old. 
wanted. My Probably. house is wanted. We say this one is, but I did. I, I really didn't go much in here. I didn't go into the attic, mm. but I did go into the attic yeah to get Hedwig for mm. my party because he was up in the attic. Um, and well, like he was just there. Fall out at me. He was just. I don't like the staircase. Yeah, it's a ladder, not a staircase. Yes. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable. In that. I'm not anywhere scary. near the weight limit for that ladder, <laughs> but I'm still like, no, it's, it can't hold my weight. Yeah. So I was steady. Yeah. <laughs> Could you help me? <laughs> He's like, it's just there. I'm like, yeah, I know. I can see it. Please. I, no, Someone yeah, lives no. up there. What if they look at me? <laughs> yeah. But no, I didn't see anything up there. That's scary. But yeah, we've still got food going missing. Is, I'm pretty sure it's your child from that story you told me today. Oh, no, no, like like jars of sauce and you stuff. So know. either mum is crazy, which is possible. We found food in Jacob's bedroom once, and it was like a jar of peanut butter. Uh, yeah, no, nah, Hunter's not that like bad, that. but um, I reckon it's my brother. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Just jumping I mean, from the yeah. storage? No, nah, I reckon we use it and we just forget it. Yeah, maybe. It's fun. Happens all the time. Oh, it's me actually. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still in the nuts? Yeah, totally. And the eggs, <laughs> the egg mayonnaise. It is me. I'm like, get this out of this house. <laughs> I can't come here anymore. I can't come here with all these allergies. <laughs> <laughs> actually, kill me. I'm so sorry. Fun. When is your first book club meeting? After Melbourne. Oh, oh, we literally get back like 20... on the 22nd, I think. We get back on the 22nd. Yeah. And then I'm not taking Hunter to school on the Wednesday, but I am going because the book club's, book that club's at school pretty much. Yeah. I am going to book club. Fun. They were like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, let's get it done. I, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to push it. Do you know what I always do to myself? I never book off. Like I go for a holiday and I feel like I should just book off. The day after, mm. off. I never fucking do. It's so That's dumb. So stupid. Um, no, actually, no. But I used I to not do it. it so. We used to not do that. Like, we'd go to Bali and, like, I'd work all day. I'd pretty much stay up 24 hours, maybe more, mm. like, to get there. Mm. But then on the way home, end up having to do the same thing and go to work. Yeah. Um, this time around. Don't need to do that. And we're also going back down to Eagle Bay straight away oh on the Thursday. You always do that. It's insane. It's fun. Fun. <laughs> it's a holiday from the holiday. True. And then you're going to have to have a holiday from the holiday from the holiday mm. when you get back. It's never ending. No. So, so we are driving down on Anzac Day. So hopefully it's a bit quieter. Ooh, maybe. Our plan is to leave. Like the crack of dawn, so hopefully everybody will be at the dawn service. Nah, they won't be. Of course. No one likes the Anzacs anymore. I don't know. People are lazy. COVID. Murray does it. No, we actually, actually got dawn service at, um, uh, on our street. Our neighbor mm. saying, hey, come do a dawn service on the yeah, on our, um, um, driveway. I don't think we, we did that on our street. I didn't. I had a baby. I'm not getting up. I've been up all night. And now I'm still not going to do it. Um. Oh, like grateful for what they did, but like I can't. I'm not getting up at the dawn. Um, yeah, when the sun comes up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've never actually, actually done a dawn service. Yeah, I have. I've done the it's 11, very cold down I've in Mantra. The I did that. 11, 11 minutes of silence mm, from yeah. Remembrance Day, which is not yeah. Anzac Day, but I'm always silent. No, we always used to do one at school. Um, on did. Anzac Day, if we were at school. A dawn on, service, not dawn service, oh, like a, but like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. They always do a service, yeah. Um, bugle. But yeah, so we're gonna go down and then come back on the Sunday. So we've like morning mm. for our drive. Hunter should sleep. Hmm. He doesn't always sleep on the way home from Eagle Bay, but hopefully he will. And then yeah, we'll have the afternoon to recover and then back to normal on yeah. the Monday. Fun. I think we'll be all right. Be it, this Eagle Bay trip is just cruisy. Yeah. Like, don't it, fall down the stairs this time. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. No promises. No, nah, maybe. I'm not going to carry anything. Yeah. 
<laughs> Someone else can do that. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Book clubs and scary movies and doing mm-hmm. fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. To or listening. To the bookshelf or listening. Most likely listening. Yeah, probably listening. Um, yeah, we will see you all later. Bye. Peace out. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm keeping oh, that. Oh, that's still good. Um,